Hello and welcome to Wikipedia Weekly Network. Here we're Albin Larsson and I, Jan Einali, are editing Wikidata Live. How are you doing, Albin? I'm doing great. And I just got a bit of chocolates delivered here to me as well. So even better. Ah, oh, that sounds nice. And how about you, Jan? I'm good as well. I had a lovely autumn day in being out in the national park just east of Utrecht and seeing falling leaves and uh, a lot of mushrooms. I didn't dare to pick any because I'm not that good at it, but uh, oh. th th it's the time of the year right now. All right. Yeah, it, it has almost passed here, but uh, yeah, we got some, but not a huge amount this year. What do you have planned for today? I want to work on glaciers once again. And I want to, I have discovered there is a category in English Wikipedia, which is used called bodies of ice. And among other things, they have like categories for various types of glaciers. So I thought we would use that to be able to set more specific instance of on glaciers mm -hmm. and make a lovely map out of it. Ah, beautiful. Uh, and how about you, Jan? I, I saw, I don't remember exactly, but I stumbled upon an old press release about uh, members of the Swedish Climate Policy Council. And I was thinking, oh, uh, I, I wonder if someone already added these new ones to Wikidata, the new members ah. of the council. Turned out there were no members in there. So I, I was thinking I'm going to do some manual editing. Right. And let me see if I can add this. So this was the press release I stumbled upon. And this is in Swedish, but we're going to switch here to English. And then I think if we scroll down, we have. So this is this is a state agency in Sweden. Uh, and they have uh, eight members, it says here. But I think there's only seven now. So they started with eight yeah. and now there's seven. But these are the, the eight people that I want to sort of like have the model so that they show up as members. And all of them are sort of like professors or notable people in other ways. So uh, they, they should have items already. If, in, if someone don't have it, we should create them. But I think they are already in Wikidata. Yeah. Hopefully, they all have Wikipedia articles even. Probably even that, yes. Well, let's start to see to find if we can find uh, I wonder if I can find from this Swedish Climate Policy Council. Yes, nice. Swedish Government Agency. And here we can see, is this large enough? Yes, I think so. Uh, how it looks right now. So they do have no Swedish label for this or English label. We should perhaps start there. Because this one we're hopefully going to use. Oh, and this is also a, so what happens when you're too quick. But it also happened to me a lot recently that even if I wait for all my gadgets to load, I get into that. But I, it's not really consistent. So I don't know really why. Let's see if everything loaded now. I think so. Is it because uh, you're pressing a shortcut or is it? I don't know. No. Is it just the edit button? Yes, just the edit button. Oh. And I think there was some other user also experienced this. So they, they wrote a, a fabricator uh, for it. Now, right. let's see here. Share person of the Swedish climate policy council. That will help us. So now I must ask Jan before you save this, what is that? button you have at the end of the, the label input here. Oh, yes, the one that is in here. Yeah. It is actually something that with just one click changes the first from uh, capital to lowercase. Oh, nice. Or for uppercase to lowercase uh, letter. And because that's a common thing that yeah. one stumble upon. It didn't render really well here <laughs> with the long one, though. <laughs> Yeah, it's very useful. All right, so now we have this label here that will make, let's see if I 
if I can reload this page, we'll also see that a little bit. Ah, taking some time for it to come through. Maybe if I force reload. Oops, that was too new. How do you force? Is it shift? Shift R. Uh, it won't. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, at least here we have the share person, but this is not the same share person. So this has already resigned. Uh, I think uh, earlier this summer, went on to become a general director for some other agency, uh, of course. So let's see if we can, can we find that somehow? If we search. Could it be in the Wikipedia article? Could be. Assume. Let's, let's start here. Oh no, this one, this one needs updating. Yeah. Because this one has nothing recent. No, it still says he was. Mm -hmm. Or still is the. This was not as easy as I would think it was. So let's do what you always can do. In this case, you don't you don't know the time. Then we can edit here, and we can add a qualifier, and we can say end time, and we say here unknown value. And this kind time is actually correct. We don't know which it is, but we know that this person stopped because there's a new chairperson there. So let's start with doing that. And now. Yeah, let's just go with that. And now the question is, I'm rather fond of, instead of listing the share person here, using uh, the position held. But since we already have it here, perhaps we should see if we can get it. So let's check again. It was Cecilia Hermansson. Is this the same person? I think it is. Let's check. That's a good question again. Yeah. Likely, since all of these are academics. And Did she have a repeat article? Oh, she did. Yeah. All right. Let's check that one. Yes. Here we go. Since 2021. No, that's Vice. When did she start as the. So we could probably search for just yeah. now. It should be a press release or something. We'll do this in Swedish. That seems like. So we have the this page, but I would rather find the press release for this. Like when did? Oh, here we have something. It comes new, All right? January 2020, no, oh, no, now she, and that's, when is this? August 2022. Yes, and he went to the research agency. But this is rather weak if with a date. It could yeah. be September. So I'm just going to say 2022 for now. And at the start here, We're pretty sure it's 2022 because it has happened. And this was saying it in August. 
And then I probably could change this one unknown to 2022 as well, because that's closer to the truth. We can add a reference here. And I'll use this link for it. I have this autofill gadget, which tries to collect a few, or a cytoid gadget, perhaps it is. Yeah. Tries to get a few things from there. That's really nice. Can I publish this? Yes, there we go. Hello, Nicholas. I'll shape this up here. So let's change this one for unknown to 2022. Then we can, in the future, find better precision on this. Yeah. All right. But I also want to go ahead and go, let's check Cecilia out here. Human, female, human and Cecilia. So let's just do an add statement here. And I'm just going to go family name. I'm pretty sure we should have on there. An easy add. What else does it? Did the Wikipedia article say anything? Not much. Well, it had the date. What did it say? November 22. Birthday soon. This is still correct, still from Wikipedia, Swedish Wikipedia. And then I'm going to want to go with this property or this value for position. So let's go with position held. There, qualifier, we'll have start time, 2022. And we want to add replaces. Uh, and what was his name? Well, it was in this source, I think. There we have it. Yeah. Go. And we can add that as a reference here as well. Fill. And publish. Now let's check Yuhan if we need to end the position held here. Oh, we didn't have that position held here. All right, let's 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 add the position held and then <laughs> say that it has ended. And we had some dates here. So started at this date. So let's put Yuhan here. Held your person started twenty twenty one 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 and time twenty twenty two. by and we go with Cecilia here copy that QID and we can use that reference again oh, it's a useful source here Here we go. Publish that one. Oh, this was 
didn't have much. Did was there a Swedish? No, Wikipedia article. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. So let's close these and let's check who's. Oh, so this is the chairperson. I was looking before, and I, I want to show this because I use this a lot <laughs> many times. So e example queries are really, really good. I think that's so it's a shortcut to finding good things that you can do in, in, in the Wikidata query service. And one that I return to often, you know, I always search for standard, and then there's this, this one. Now, I have it in Swedish here. But it's, oh, here we have the English. Properties used to link to instances of a technical standard. And it's useful to see, like, what are things that are used to link to this kind of item? And yeah. now we're having in, not a standard, but we're having a council. So I want to know what, what kind of things do we use to say that something is in a council? So let's see if I can find So here. And if I just do this now, I get all of them. And it's only 64. But I really want to change this to English. So it's better for you. Run it again. And we can see member of here is one. And that's what I was guess would be guessing on. It could also be something else. So to get a little bit more sure, I want to count how often is it used because that gives us a, not a perfect sign, but a better indication if people have sort of come to consensus of a data model in some topic area or how something is used. Yeah. So I want just want to add here a, a count, and I want to count. Uh, well, let's go with the first one. Count that one as count. And then, of course, I'm going to need to I can get rid of the distinct. I need to group by all of these. Not get the bad aggregate. And then I, um, I want to order I descending out and then you you have a missing n parentheses in the first up program. here yes thank you really this should also be an example because this i <laughs> rewrite this all very often just to find in some sort of and I'm, what i'm changing is this like what are the things that I'm curious about now? How are we using it in Wikidata? And if I run this now, I hope we get this. Yes. So yes. So councils oh. do legislations very often. And something is often member of a council. So this is very good to know because this gives me confidence that I can say that when my first source here say, oh, these are the members of this council, we can also use the same property in Wikidata. Yeah. Right. It seems this, this seems incredibly useful and should almost be like a shortcut from item pages, I feel like. <laughs> yes. Like an, under the tools sections in the sidebar. Yeah. Like Maybe it is part. a link in the property. Well, but this is not that. Yes, no. you're, you're right. You're right. Yes. It's incredibly because, useful. Yeah. It's not too different from Recoin, so to say. Mm -hmm. um, but sort of the the other way around, in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. And a little bit more transparent, I believe. Mm -hmm. So we edited Cecilia just with the position held. But uh, so to be really clear here, I also want to add member of mm, there and with this climate. Policy Council there, and we'll add the start date, start time, 
two. We don't know that more exact. Oh, I lost uh, reference. Oh, we can reuse it with the other gadget. So let's start publishing that. And for the other gadget to realize that this statement exists, we have to reload. And then I can go to, if this loads, copy here. And where did the member of go? There, insert reference. All right, nice. Uh, Nicholas here wonders if this query we talked about isn't in the property documentation template. And it isn't because it isn't about the property. It's about no. It's it's about the target of all the different properties. That's that's the beauty of it. So here I get a list of properties. Not, but, but I think there's something on the property that's about what are the targets or something like that, right. or values for this property, common values for this property. But this is sort of the other way around. But then it's also a very useful one when you're editing that part. Now let's also add that on Mr. And I don't know how his last name. I think it's, no, I don't dare. I don't know if it's hard or a soft K here. No, that, that's a tricky one. Yeah. Member of. And now I think I have the, no, I do not have that one. I do have this value here in my, yes. And we know the start time is the same as over here. So we'll copy this. And we have an end. 22. Publish. We'll reload. And I'll copy and insert. All right, now I think we're done with uh, the chairs. Let's go to the next person in the list. Let's go with the current vice chair, Bjorn Sandén. Let's see if we can find an item for him. There we have him. Also not very full. So we can add a few statements here. And I think we had the family name. This one should be sure, no. yes. No Wikipedia article, so not much more here for now. Let's end the, the member of council here. Uh, I don't know the start date for this one. So I'm going to get, I think I want to get through these first and see if we can get them all. So Elin. And I haven't added um, citizenship Swedish because I know Elin is not Swedish, so I don't want to assume the other ones. Leo? I think she's Norwegian. Yeah, it, yeah. the name looks very Norwegian. Norwegian environmental list it says here. And she already had the citizenship here, so that was good. Uh, no family names. Let's see if th these are in here. Family name. This one was the first one. What was the second one? 
Poisson. There we go, a little bit better. And then we'll add the member of here. Member of We don't know the start date, so let's go to the next one. Annika Nordlund. Ooh. Oh, all right. Let's go back to her. Let's start with Henrik Smith instead. So I was looking at earlier today, the researcher. So this one, I already confirmed it's the same person. I think we can add at least male here. Or can we? Yeah. <laughs> no, it has crashed somewhere. Uh, I'll do cancel here. Yeah, I don't think you could. There we go. Something, something. Yeah, I was confused. All right, and then we'll add member of go with it council here again i think he had a description that needed needed fixing as well oh let's check did you have the orchid in the description no we don't want that i guess no uh and, and it's not the great one either because we can say he's a professor rather than just researcher or researcher and perhaps yeah professor of or professor in professor of zo ecology is that the what's that is swedish but i'm not sure if that's the english term let's check if that's something we have in wikidata Animal ecology. ecology. All right, so let's go with that. That seems to be the. Oh, and now I was on this page again. All right, interesting. All right, let's check. Do we have Patrick in here? happen now oops browser not happy this page is slowing down firefox all right let's no close that one oh no no not animal we want to patrick not the boat builder let's double check what it says here Professor of Economics, that seems to yeah. be the, the right person. Let's add family name. And member, member. And then finally, Victoria Wiebeck hopefully has an article. With a C or T, okay. With a C. There we go. Yes, that's her. Has, right, so let's just add the member of here. And 
this is the thing I want. All right. So almost done. I need to create an item for 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 Annika first, and then we we'll can have the entire thing queryable uh, from Wikidata. Who's who are the members of the Swedish Climate Policy Council? Right. And that was what I was looking for to do today. Right. And I am, as I said going to work with glaciers once again. And a good starting point on my end is then to go to my user page about glacier. Oh, it's even out of complete. And there we go. My username slash glaciers. And I want to work with glacier types. So let's see, do I already have a, a good map here? Um, yes, here, map of all glaciers in Wikidata colored by their type. So that that's visualizing what I want to edit. Um, so let's start here and let's see what's in there today. And here we go, around 10,000 glaciers. Let's, we can see mainly blue, which is just glacier, I believe. But let's go over to Iceland where there are plenty of, I assume, ice caps. Yeah. Um, and here we have, this is human settlement. So it's probably have more than one instance of value. And this one is geographic location. So that one we can actually fix like this rather than it do not need to have both geographic location and glacier. That's not helpful. So check all targets used in glacier. That was human settlement. Something go on there. Let's see if it's easy to fix. I imagine it would need splitting. Yeah, so German says glacier. English says human settlement. It is in a national park. Let's see what English Wikipedia article says. Um, here it says it's in a glacier. Um, located in a municipality. And according to the image, it is just a glacier. It's not a human settlement. I am confident that we can remove that. And we can also, oops, that's your on. It's a glacier on Iceland. There we go. Okay, still not. I think this was an outlet glacier, but I'm not sure we got an item for that. But what I actually wanted to check today was a very specific, let's see if it is already in the category, glaciers of Iceland, glacier stops, no. So let's over, head over to a category here that's called bodies of ice, which just already rings like a super interesting category on English Wikipedia to me, but that's maybe just me. But here we got, we've got several types here. We got ice caps, ice fields, ice sheets, ice shelves, ice streams, and so on. And this is just a subset. I was hoping that we could have like peak glaciers and a couple of other things, but this is a good, good start. So let's, um, let's do ice streams. They are quite interesting. So, we only got them on Antarctica in English Wikipedia, but it's interesting enough. So this is even named Ice Stream, this glacier. So it will be interesting to see how that's modeled in Wikidata. Is it already Ice Stream or is it Glacier? There we have it. Let's see 
the Wikidata item, it already says ice cream. That's great. And I could write a query to do this, but it's not what I'm aiming for today. Here we got the merge class here. Let's check that one as well. It's it's famous because it's one of those really large breakoffs that happened there. Um, oh, this is interesting. It says Glacier here, but it should be ice cream. I'm gonna double check. Um, it could also be Glacier Tongue. Or is that just, no, that's just the part that broke off. Yeah. It is an ice stream. Great. And I shouldn't have closed that. I should have gone to Wikidata. So let's change that. There we go. So a little bit more color in our map. Berg Ice Stream, another one named Ice Stream. So let's hope it already got the more precise instance of it does. It seems very based on that name. That's good to know. So let's go to one just named Glass here. Um, let's see what's going on. It just says Glacier. Yeah, it seems to be a direct connection to, to the name. I'm gonna delete the imported from, even to uh, interfering the category. It's an ice stream, there we go. Let's see. Um, that's the entire area, but it should indeed be an ice stream. Once again, it seems based on the title. There we go. Let's see what's going on with the images here. So this is an air, no, is it an area? I assume they aren't on the ground. It's hard to tell the scale here. What does it say in the description? Um, uh, it's hard to tell, it could be on a really large pole or something like that. Okay, um, but that one is not as good as the orchard one, which shows a little bit more. So I'm actually going to remove one. Duplicate coordinates. Is there one that's obviously better than the orchard one? No. Okay. Then I'm going to leave that. Let's pick an orchard one. I'm doing a bit of side tracks here on orchard. This is very obviously an ice stream because you can kind of see its movements in the image very clearly. Um, so let's make sure that that's an ice stream as well. But considering that there was quite a bit of ice streams already tagged in Antarctica, let's see what the map looked like before we started down here. Oh, so it's a little bit more color. There's, of course, an ice sheet and some ice streams. And yeah, Nicolas' point here about obviously 
I, I realized that after I said it, that it's, of course, not obvious for everyone. Yeah. And it makes a lot of sense if it, is, if it isn't. We all have different priorities. Yes. Oh, this is interesting. This is just land form. Um, of course, we want to fix that one. Land form is even more generic, and it got the double one. So we can just remove the land form. There we go. Let's see. I also let's do a couple of orchard ones, but then I wanted to head down some rabbit hole. Oh, this is nice. Some art pictures um sadly that's the only one we got okay yeah there we go Again, double coordinate, Swedish Wikipedia and English Wikipedia. And are they all? Mm, ish. This would that would be a nice user script, by the way, uh, a view that combined all of the coordinates. Mm. So you would see them in in relationship to each other. Yes. Um, in case someone out there has nothing to do on the weekend. Um, Lambert Glacier, that, that's a really large one as well. Let's see. And we could fix that one as well. That's neat. Okay. So let's see if we can just do a little bit on another type. One could probably do this with a better tool than doing it completely manual like this. Um, we got a couple of ice shelves. Um, the Arctic Ocean, let's do that one. Got eight here in the same region. Let's see what Wikidata says about this one. It already says ice shelf, but it's not a lot of data here. Let's see if we can actually pick something from that Wikipedia article used to put in here to give it a little bit more content. Um, Let's see, is this good image? No, I don't think so. Let's see, where is it even? It's okay, it's still in the center. Oh, no. Um, that's way too generic. Let's see. No. Nothing, nothing major, sadly. Okay, let's move on to another one. Here we have a long article, so hopefully we got. It's still an ice shelf. Um, we still only have three statements plus an identifier. So let's see here. Oh, this is new longer one. Um, so since it broke off, we even got a date here. It's technically no longer an ice shelf because an ice shelf need to be a part of something else. It sits on top of water, but it sits still. It's just an ice. And this here says ice Iceland, but it's technically an iceberg. And I assume the entire shelf broke off. 
Yeah, and it, it's in past sense here, so I think we could add an end date to this. Mm. Another approach would be to say that we have an instance off with an end date. But yeah, I think we're gonna put it on the item itself because I don't think we do any same tracking of ice icebergs, so to say. They are quite short lived. So let's at least add an end date. And what's the, is it dissolved? Yeah. Can it parse this directly? Yes, it can. Let's see. And that's all the warnings, okay. So that's really nice having end dates on things. It isn't really nice that it's no longer, but it's it's good that we have data on it. And uh, let's see, that's before, I assume this is after. This shows the collapse. Okay, no. Out of context, they are tricky to reuse some of these images. Let's do another one. Mm -hmm. The largest ice shelf. Uh, we got some interesting data about the size here. Assuming that it already got the right type. It's nice shelf and it got very little data. So let's see. 9,100 square kilometers. Let's see if we have a date on this. Of course, it's highly relevant on ice shelves when it comes to size. Um, from when was the source maybe? There is something in an archive, in the internet archive, I assume. Yeah. Because it seems that it has broken since. It has lost quite a bit of its size. So let's see. Oh, this is small text. And you should donate to the internet archive. So let's see here. Where do we have that 9,000 to begin with? Do we have an anatomy here somewhere? No. Um, okay, it says quite a bit here. But increase the figure to eight square after starting the data more wisely. Yeah, that, that's not even a source, I believe, for that information. Um, could it be the What was the US 3.5, 3,500 square. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, this is interesting. It was once home for an enormous ice shelf totaling around 3,500 square miles. All that is left today 
are five much smaller shelves that cover just under 4,000 square meters. That's interesting. That's wrong in the article. No, it's also in past sense. Yeah, okay, was. I missed that. Um, does it exist even? Yeah, it exists, but it's not. Okay, one's total. Hmm. Can we give a point in time some value? But no. Let, let's skip that one. It's going to be a bit tricky. This, I feel like I should read the paper to edit that. Um, so let's do an order one. Ward Hunt Ice Shelf. And I assume that it's actually already Ice Shelf in Wikidata now by the title. Ah. That's really large. Oh, here we go. We got both glacier and ice shelf. And that is, of course, not necessary. Here again, we got uh, multiple images. And uh, that image is a little bit questionable, I believe. Especially in this, we also got one for satellite imagery, or at least for aerial view, but I don't think this one is that good even for such a use case. Because it had a lot, much more in its content as well. So let's remove that. And it has a little bit more information. That's lovely to see. Do we have another type we can play around with? Bodies of eyes. Let's see, we let's do ice caps. So let's do Russian ones. Karpinsky. Oh. That's interesting shapes. Again, I think I should put interesting around quotes here. It's interesting to some of us. Um, here we got an order size and even heights. So let's see if it says that it's a uh, ice cap. Oh, this is interesting. It says mount. That's interesting. Uh, we got this external ID also saying mount. There is a mount. Oh, interesting. So this identifier is at least wrong and here no we should split this item it's both a mountain and a glacier currently what does the history of this item look like i assume it's one of the i have been here okay just a quick statements um I assume one of the Wikipedia articles could then be about the glacier. Oh, it's really hard to tell which one it could be for me. Um, I'm gonna bookmark this. That's, I'm not gonna solve it like this because I would need to run some of those articles through translation. 
can I see from where? No, this is one of those cases I would really like if we had references for labels, because that would allow me to see from what Wikipedia this Mount Karpinski would have been imported from. Yeah, I'm not gonna figure it out based on the item. Okay. That's sad. And here it also says that the ice cap itself is also known as Mount Karpinski. Okay, okay. Not gonna make progress there. So let's move to another island. It's a roughly round shaped ice island, okay? Can't can't really see that based on the map. But let's see. But here it says in a, it's an island. Um it's pretty much only a glacier, but it's it's technically also an island. What is just the Oh, this is interesting. And based on the article, this is completely correct. It's an island, not, not a glacier, but there is a glacier on top of it. Um, but given that it should probably be an additional item in Wikidata, not, not this one. And it should be like located on a geographic feature or landform, located on landform, I believe it is, to, proper, to connect them. Um, on English Wikipedia, the categories also make sense. There is just not a one-to-one -one match. Can we get one of those ice caps at least? Oh, yeah, okay. Here is a section that just... Uh, That's a part of the category. This at least is named after the actual ice cap. Let's see if that used, no, it's also used a section. Oh, maybe all of these are sections then. Yeah. Um, and this is an island, so it will likely have some separate yeah so we're not gonna sort those out maybe they have items to the caps themselves and we need to make sure that they are connected maybe they don't we need to add them um but it's not something we're gonna solve here we could also do swat eason So I think that's the last one we're gonna shake before we end. Was it two glaciers? Mm, so it's like a collective name. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, again, this, this doesn't perfectly match Wikidata mm -hmm. because there are indeed two parts. So that's interesting. So that would need to be modeled in Wikidata differently, but interestingly enough, it's also like, for example, this is just one of the glaciers. Um, ah, that's, that's a little bit annoying. And uh, it also says mountain range here, which is interesting mm. to me. It says imported from German Wikipedia. I don't think it is a mountain range at all. Let's head over to the German Wikipedia and see if I can just quickly skim it through. Um, it's no weekend for black eyes indeed. Um, no, it's, it's a glacier here. Hmm. 
But here I think it's only one glass here. What categories is it in? I'm thinking, how did they think? Uh, glaciers in Europe, glaciers in Norway. What is Kibirge? Is that yeah? What is that mountain? No, uh, mountain should should just be Berg. Uh -huh. Um, but yeah, I would need to double check that. Yeah. Okay, I imagine we can remove mountain range, but I'm gonna double check that. Let's see what happens if I click here, does it? Oh, it has imported it from it being part of the Scandinavian mountains, I imagine. Oh, is the Gebirge mountain range, perhaps even? Yeah, because this is uh, Scandina. Yes. And I imagine that's from where it picked it mm. up. Yeah, yeah. Makes and sense. And it also, yeah. OK, we can safely remove that. And it's also like imported from a wiki, mm -hmm. then it's not a very strong reference either. Um, it's okay, we got some cleanup. Let's see if we can actually rerun the map. We shouldn't see that much change. This is a, a lot of work needed for the 10,000 glaciers, and mm -hmm. I think we need to automate some of it. Um, but slowly but surely. Let's see, it updated five minutes ago, so we should pick up some. And sadly, mm -hmm. it changes all the colors. And I, I think don't there know. There was if... six difference in results. We had right. nine, eight, nine, two before. So at oh. least some of them. Yeah, and we should have removed some duplicates mm -hmm. also. We do remove landform, a geographic location, and things like that. I, I imagine it's mainly the different colors that makes it feel a bit more colorful here. <laughs> Ah, let's imagine it was or or work here today. <laughs> right. And I think that's what it's and the queries and all such. Rather than me sharing the link, you can get a, always a much better link here because here I keep them somewhat updated. So head over to the Glaciers page on Wikidata. Right. All right. I'll just quickly share the result here. So I now I made a sh very short query. This one is looking for members of the policy climate policy country council, and then anyone who has an end date. I'll remove that. And right. now we have these seven. And if I don't have the minus there, I also get the former share in in the query but this one is the the current setup oh lovely so now now we have a the people who's going to check the people <laughs> <laughs> we can check the people who's going to check the people <laughs> the, the circle is yes completed indeed all right so all for today but what are we doing next week we are celebrating Wikidata's 10th birthday. Yes, we are. It's we're so lucky because it's actually the birthday on Saturday when we're oh. we're on. So we thought we were going to do something special. Indeed, we are having two guests. No, I don't think we're going to announce them just yet. But check out our our channel, so to say. Um, but we are going to have two guests on and talk about the last 10 years and maybe the next 10 years. And meanwhile, we do that, we're gonna play some Wikidata-based games, essentially. So it's gonna be a different thing, but I think it kind of gives us a lot of insight into the data in Wikidata based from those games, and also a lot of interesting conversations, I believe, not only about Wikidata, but about like structured data in general across the Wikimedia ecosystem. Mm -hmm. um, on my end, I'm really looking forward to for it. Yes. It might be a little bit less editing than usual, but I think we're going to talk about editing and, and of course, what's in it and where we're going with it. Yeah. And yeah. Nicolas, yes, one will be Wikitria. 
Yes. And in and case you know a good Wikidata game, let us know. We're still making a list. Yes. And we we certainly have time to play more than one game. So Indeed. if you have any favorites, uh, uh, please send them our way. Yes. So it's going to be <laughs> less editing and more partying next week. <laughs> yeah. All right. And with that, uh, have a very nice 10th anniversary week and happy editing. Happy editing. Ja, oh, vad fint. Nikolas har en korsord. Kors. Just det, det kommer jag ihåg att någon gjorde Aha. något. Men jag, har, jag spelade nog aldrig det, men jag tror jag sett den flytta förbi någonstans. Ja, ja. Ah. Ni är online igen. Nu är hon lite efter här, tror jag. <laughs> You're... Oh.